What's going on everybody? David here from Lucas Videos and Collectibles and today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time it is on the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Wave 1 Roar of Wars Baryonyx. Now it's been a long time since uh or should I say a long time coming for me to do this review because I've been wanting to get this out for a while but I uh, haven't had a chance to do the other videos taking its spot. And that's okay because, you know, it kind of spaces everything out, you know, so it won't be all one thing, you know, strictly just dinosaurs all the time. But, you know, it's my love, you know, you know I love dinosaurs, I like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World stuff. So I'm just, I'm very happy to be able to do these reviews and collections for y'all. So, um, but anyways, I'm um, very happy to have this out and finally get to review this thing. Because this is one of my favorite ones out of the uh, Roar of War set. And um, for a while, um, a lot of people have been missing out on the Baryonyx and the Allosaurus of the uh, Wave 1 of Roar of Wars. Uh, for some reason, Mattel didn't make a whole lot of them like they did with like the uh, Triceratops and the Metricanthosaurus. And... Um, a lot of people were just missing out on these, bummed that they didn't get them. <clears throat> but here lately, uh, especially in the beginning of this year, they have redistributed to uh, um, to meet the demand for the Baryonyx and Allosaurus. So if you missed out on the first uh, initial uh, uh, wave, then check your local Walmarts. Because I don't think I've ever seen them in the Targets, but I know Walmart's been... Uh, redistributing the Baryonyx and the Allosaurus. Now, it's starting to get towards the end of that uh, distribution uh, phase where uh, you probably won't be able to find them as much as you did in the beginning of the year. So I suggest if you want one, go ahead and go out to your local Walmarts or in surrounding areas or have a, uh, a fellow collector that you know well uh, help you out and pick you up one and stuff. Stuff like that, you know, because um, they're not as uh as uh, out there as much as they were in the beginning so so if you want one go ahead and go hunt one down if you can but anyways uh so y'all know the drill i'm gonna go over the packaging area go to the dinosaur do some measurement do some size comparisons and then we'll wrap this video up all right so you know me and my love for this packaging Man, I just miss this style of packaging. As much as I enjoy and like the uh, Dino Rivals packaging, man, it's just something about this cage style packaging that I just love so much. You know, just like I've always said in my videos when I review these uh, Fallen Kingdom toys, it's just this, the cage style packaging. It just fits so well with the movie and what the movie is about. And it's just uh, uh, very, very nicely done, you know, on Mattel's part. Um, the quality is kind of dipped down a little bit as far as packaging goes. Uh, just, it's just not as uh, sturdy and as uh, elaborate as as the Fallen Kingdom line was. <clears throat> but anyways, so you got this cage style packaging right here. The cracked Jurassic World logo, um, top left hand corner. And then at the uh, bottom left hand corner you got Owen and Blue. And ages 3 and up, that's me. And then at the bottom you have Rorovores uh, Baryonyx. And then here you have a uh, picture of the Baryonyx in its action feature. And then on this uh, top uh, top of the packaging you have the finger pointing down where you can test out the electronics. And then at the top uh, right hand corner you have the Rorovore symbol or logo to let you know that it's electronic and that it makes sounds. And then as far as the, as far as the card back goes, uh, you have the Mount Saibo erupting with all the volcanic ash and lava coming down and down the forest below. And what's so great about this is that all the, uh, yeah, I had to open this up. <laughs> Anyways, what's so great about this is that all the artwork is all in the background and all on the inside of the packaging. So that's real awesome to tell. You don't get that kind of packaging anymore. You know, so it's really sweet that uh, that they're able to do this. And, you know, you can tell that the uh, as far as the ash lava and the ash goes, 
Um, it looks like it's a 3D, like it's coming right at you, you know. So <clears throat> I thought that was really sweet right there, you know. And then on the top of the packaging, you have Jurassic World right there. And then on the side of the packaging, you have Jurassic World logo right there. And then you have some more of that uh, lava and ash flying at you. And then here's the background with the palm trees and sunset right there. And then all right in here. So, very awesome. And then on here, you have the Jurassic World logo. And here at the bottom, you have the uh, all the copyright information date right here. And it says, contains one dinosaur. And then you got the Universal logo along with the Mattel logo. And if you still want the uh, Baryonyx, uh, go ahead and screenshot that and scan the Walmart app. And... Hopefully that y'all have some in y'all's area. And then here in the back, we have a, <clears throat> we have a nice uh, prototype of the Baryonyx. And then here we have the Jurassic World logo right there. We got Baryonyx right there. And then we have all the uh, information of the Jurassic World Facts app. Then here at the bottom, there is a uh, wave one of the Roarvores. With the Allosaurs, Metrocanthosaurs, and the Triceratops. And then down over here, it says contains one dinosaur. And then here, sorry about the glare. We have, a, like I said, we have a picture of the Baryonyx. Probably a, uh, excuse me, <laughs> a, proto a prototype. Um, so here we have the button pushing down. It tells you where to press the button. And then it says, uh, push button for sound and chomping action. And then we got the Roarvores logo right there. And so it just shows you that it just, uh, mouth opens up and down and then makes sounds. So that is the packaging. And, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the dinosaur. Okay, before we get to the dinosaur, let's go ahead and check out these instructions. Even though the dinosaur was already pre-opened and everything already assembled, but we are still going to look at these uh, instructions. So here at the top, we got the Jurassic World instructions, and then Agents 3, that's me. And then it contains uh, the contents. It just shows you the dinosaur and the tail, so there is a, some assembly acquired. And then down here, we have the... Uh, uh, Jurassic World Facts app information. Then down here we have the uh, Mattel.com for the service, and then the Universal logo, and then Mattel. And then on the inside we have number one assembly. So it just shows you how to uh, insert the tail as it is a one-time assembly. And then, then number two it says to play, and then it says. Push button for sound and chomping action. So, there you go. And then, over here, number three, it just says battery replacement. So, it just basically gives you information on how to replace your batteries. And then, over here in the back, it says battery safety information. And then, it just says, um, just gives you all the safety tips and what to do unless if, you know, the battery is old and know how to replace it and you know just things like that in general so that is the instruction so let's go ahead and take a look at the dinosaur okay so we have the baryonyx in hand and I just gotta say that it is absolutely gorgeous I love this figure and just basically because of the sculpt and the uh, pebbling that it has you know and got this crocodile look to it and um so as you can tell it's got this uh kind of light brownish color and then it's dark uh line here at the top and some spotting on here on the side of the legs so the good thing about this is one of the very rare occasions that Mattel will actually start and finish all the way down here it may not always be all the way down to the tip of the tail, but at least they was able to get majority of it. So that's a good thing. So, got this, uh, like I said, it's got dark uh, spots here along the legs. 
So, very nice right there. Really, really enjoy that type of pattern. Pattern this looks really great on it. And then here you got this metallic uh, light blue uh, on the top of the head. And then right here, right there behind the eye. And then, um, <clears throat> very good right there. And then as far as the eyeball goes, very well done, Mattel, on that. And then over here, let's take a look at this other eyeball. Very well done on that part. And then, the, as far as the head sculpt goes, I think it's very well, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's very well done. And then the teeth are all individually painted, it looks. And then it's got the tongue that's nice. It doesn't really have a wet look to it, but... You know, it's it's got a nice color to it. And as far as right here, um, kind of wish they would have painted this inside right there. The side of the gums, they didn't, but it is what it is. And then uh, here at the bottom, you can see the, uh, here is the speaker. And then this is the battery compartment. And then that here, there's the Jurassic World logo right there. And then here, here is the Fax app. If anybody wants it, who doesn't have it already, um, really like the fact that they did paint the uh, feet. Uh, they didn't paint any of the dew claws, and none of the claws right here. So, as far as way of articulation goes, both the arms are on a ball and hinge, so you can move the in and out, and up and down. In and out. Oops. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. So in and out. Up and down. And then as far as the legs go. Up and down. It's got that thigh. Uh, uh, rotation in there. Same thing with back legs. Can't go all the way. All the way. 360. But... Does get that, like I said, does get that thigh uh, articulation right there. So that's a good thing. And so as far as the uh, gimmick goes, you have this button back here. And one of the good things about Mattel is that they know how to blend in their mechanisms. So when you sit on the shelf, it's not even noticeable at all. So that's a great thing. And uh, we love the way how they have it blended in. So... <clears throat> so, in order to get the sound out, as you heard just a few seconds ago, and to get the uh, articulated jaw going, you just press this back button right there, and here we go. So overall, you got about um, a good three, four sounds, and um, very nice, you know. Uh, a lot of these Rorivores, including the Triceratops, uh, they pretty much have the most similar sounds uh, from my experience, you know. I'm not an expert on sounds or anything like that, because technically we don't know what an actual dinosaur actually sounds like. We just base it off of what the movies give us. But uh, a lot of the times, some of these sounds, they just kind of reuse and kind of mix it up a little bit. It's kind of similar like a T-Rex sound. <clears throat> but um, I think it's really cool, though. I love the gimmick, you know. Um, doesn't always work all the time. But uh, overall, you know, if you get the right sound with the right dinosaur, then it, it's, uh, it's a great thing. So... Very happy with this figure, you know. I don't have the uh, Jurassic Park Series 2 Baryonyx to compare this to. Uh, I do want to get it eventually. Um, I did miss out on a couple times on them because they were really, at the time when I was looking for them, they were sold really cheap. But I was ended up getting other stuff instead. But hey, it is what it is. So um, let's go ahead and do some uh, measurements and then we can do some size comparisons. 
Okay, so this Allosaurus is from the tip of the tail to the tip of the jaw measures uh, almost just a little over 13 inches, about 13 and a half. And then if you want to go from the height from the hip to the top, it's about four inches. Then if you want to go from the tip of the head, it's about five. So let's go ahead and bring out some other dinosaurs for a size comparison. Okay, so here we are. We have the uh, Gallimimus next to the uh, Baryonyx, and pretty good, pretty good in scale. You know, really like the size comparison. You know, as far as with the uh, the attack pack dinosaurs that measure up with the Roarvors. And here we are next up with its uh, Roarvor counterpart, the Triceratops, or the Trike, or short and. Um, Pretty good in scale. Uh, the the trike should be just a little bit bigger, but uh, that it's just a little bit too small as far as uh, the accuracy goes. If you want to be realistic, so but it's pretty pretty nice size, you know, in scale. You know, I think go like that. So I like it. And here we have its another Roarvor counterpart, the Allosaurus. Um, as far as size comparison in, in realistic form, I guess, uh, I don't know. It might be accurate, it might not be. But um, if you do know if this is in scale, then please comment down below. So, you know, I'll know because I, would, I always like new information as far as when it comes to size comparisons with dinosaurs you know and things like that so I, I like it you know I don't have an issue with it so it could be right you know but I think the Allosaurus might be a little bit smaller but in the, in the Baryonyx might be a little bit bigger so but then again you gotta remember these are from the movie. This is from the movie standpoint, not from the actual uh, findings standpoint, should I say. <laughs> but um, but if you do know if this is accurate or not, then please comment down below and let me know. Because, like I said, I always like to find out new information and stuff. So, real happy with it. You know, I have no issues with it. And, you know, we have to bring in Rexy, you know, to get the final size comparisons with the dinosaurs and how big they are. So, I'm pretty sure this is uh, pretty accurate, you know. And, uh, like I said, I think the Baryonyx might be a, a tad bit smaller compared, you know. But then again, you know, this is from the movie standpoint. So, but I do like the scaling, though. And for the final size comparison, we have Owen. So... Pretty good. Really nice. Yeah. So, good size. I don't have an issue with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a collection update. And here is my Roar Voice collection. So, let's go ahead and go down the line real quick. And so, this is the Baryonyx that we just reviewed. The Metrocanthosaurus. Here's the Triceratops. The Allosaurus. It's the Ankylosaurus. And then in the back, we have the uh, Pteranodon. And yeah, it's sitting up on a, uh, a, uh, like a glass. Because, you know, it's part of the collection, so I have to add it in there. And uh, eventually, uh, when I get some figure stands, I'll be able to remove that glass and place it on there. So it'll look a little bit better. <laughs> Here's the uh, Ceratosaurus. And then here is uh, the final, the Cenoceratops, or the Pachyrhinosaurus. Ri I might have pronounced that wrong. 
Anyways, but yeah, that's from Wave 3. And the Ankylosaurus, Pteranodon, and the Ceratosaurus, they're all from uh, Wave 2. And these are the uh, Wave 1 Roarvores. The Baryonyx, the Metacanthosaurus, the Triceratops, and the Allosaurus. So, yeah, that's my Roarvores collection. And let's go ahead and wrap up this video. And I just want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And comment down below what you think of this Baryonyx. And if you have this in your collection or if you're thinking about trying to find this to add to your collection, uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you know any information that would be helpful for me to learn more about the Baryonyx in general, please comment down below because I know there are a few people out there that like to watch these videos and they like to comment down below when I... Uh, ask certain questions about certain things you know it's just to help me learn more about these dinosaurs you know and uh, because I love dinosaurs grew up uh, with them and yeah, well not with them because I wasn't alive back then <laughs> but <clears throat> just like every kid in the world you know grew up uh, playing with dinosaurs and uh, all the wonderful toys that they produced over the years and this one is no exception so um, if you haven't already please give this channel a sub like the video, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can receive all my uploads, and words of wisdom. Buy what you love and not what you like, because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.